Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to look at another espresso accessory for my Breville Barista Express. It came all the way from AliExpress. This is the bottomless potter filter or the naked potter filter or unpressurized potter filter. They are called in many names. Anyway, let's unbox and see and we'll make an espresso shot out of it and test it and see whether it's working or not. So let's quickly have a look at this. I ordered a brown one, but it shows black. Let's have a look. Uh, this is the 54 mm. That's what we want for Breville Barista Express. Looks a bit damaged. I'm hoping that nothing wrong with my photo filter. Oh good. Okay, so it's brown color. Wow, looks new and shiny. This has the wooden color. I wanted this brown one. Uh, remember I have the espresso mat which is also brownish color even my kitchen top it matches this brown color so that's why I ordered the brown and uh, this is how it looks like let's see if it can I wasn't expecting that it would come with a filter basket anyway that's a good addition Looks a bit tight. Wow. Whew, that was tough. Anyway, that's a Breville Barista Express size basket. This is the single wall, non-pressurized basket. And it has that little clip and basically there's nothing there's no spout so let's put it back okay now a bottomless potter filter is an important accessory in making espresso if you are serious about making espresso. The main use of it is to help diagnose any espresso extraction related issue. Now in this bottomless potter filter there is no spouts, the basket is exposed and this allows you to watch the entire extraction process through this filter basket. Now, many bottomless potter filter owners complain that this potter filter is a mess as it sprays, shoots out streams of espresso out of the cup and makes a mess of the espresso machine and the surrounding area. But those people fail to realize the real purpose of this bottomless potter filter. This potter filter is meant to check and ensure that you don't have channeling or uneven distribution where one side has more grinds than the other side or uneven tamping etc. So using this you could watch the entire extraction process whether it has more flow on one side than the other or whether you're getting the perfect flow of espresso. A perfect extraction would have one single thick flow of espresso which looks rich, creamy like honey depending on the freshness of the coffee beans. So let's have a closer look at this and we'll make a double shot espresso using this bottomless potter filter. So let's go. Anyway, let's have a closer look. The handle can be removed, all you do is just turn it and that can be removed.
I don't see the purpose of that but if you want to change the handle color to another one maybe and as I showed you you can remove the basket it's a bit tight because it's new and this is 54 mm and it should fit in Breville Barrist Express I haven't tried this this is my first time so before use I'll give a nice rinse using soap and then we'll make an espresso okay now I give a quick rinse on these and I want to quickly show you the comparison between the Breville Potter filter and the, the bottomless one and this is the Breville basket and this is the one that came with the bottomless Potter filter basket. It looks similar but the shape is slightly different. On my left this is the Breville and this is the new one. So if you look at the shape here it's slightly different. This is more straight. That's the only difference I see. Rest everything looks same. So if you look here this is slightly bigger. The base is slightly bigger than the Breville one. So this one, the Breville's has spout and this is hollow. That's the main difference. <laughs> anyway, so let's make a coffee. It's new, so everything is tight. That's okay. So it's all clean and let's make some coffee. Before I make the coffee, let, let me run some water so that we can look at the flow. Uh, let me get a better angle. Okay, let's run some water. Okay. Now I got this beans that I roasted less than a week ago. So we'll use this and we'll take 18 grams. Okay, that's 18, 18 grams and then let's grind it. Now it's very important that I distribute this well or else there will be a lot of channeling. Anyway, this is my first time attempting this. So bear with me. I'll try my best to level it well. So let me use this distribution tool. This should be good. Um, I see some issue here. There's not enough bean. So I'm going to have some problem there. So let me put some more beans.
I lost some beans while dozing so that could be the issue anyway I'll try to fill that gap looks much better so let's stamp it using the other side I've adjusted this to Breville's height razor height so let's stamp it perfect so it looks nicely tamed okay so let's make some coffee I'm going to use my shot glass maybe I'm taking some risk here I don't know whether I'll get the perfect flow where it flows straight on the cup but we'll see so let me get a better angle so that you can see the flow I guess this angle is better so I'm going to switch on now Okay, so it wasn't a big disaster like I thought. Um, it's something fixable. The shot looks good, generated nice crema. Uh, there were a lot of channeling, and uh, but that's something uh, to learn. Like I said, this bottomless spotter filter is to learn about the extraction that you do and the ways to improve your extraction. Now, since I saw a bit of channeling, I'm going to improve on better distribution method and to tamp properly. Anyway, let's taste this espresso before it dies. So let's taste this. The shot is tasty, rich flavor, everything is good. All I need to do is make sure the distribution is done well, the tamping is done well. Also remember, there is limitation in the grinder. I won't be able to get the perfect fine grinds out of it. So that could be one limitation that can cause channeling and uneven flow. Anyway, I'm going to work on this. This is the first time I use this. So that's some homework that I'm going to do in the next few days. And I'll give you an update on that. And as soon as I find out, I'll give you tips on how I fix the, the flow issue. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I just want to check the puck so that it, it tells about how well it was distributed and how the flow was hmm okay I can already see the issue I think uh, that's that happens because you don't have enough coffee bean it wasn't touching the group head properly that's why you see that that wavy look where there were channeling where others there was less beans it was flowing through that area down so that's one thing i'll be fixing i'll make sure that i have enough quantity maybe i have to increase to 19 grams maybe it's the bean uh, and make sure that i don't waste any beans while dozing that's another thing so okay that makes sense anyway
it was a bit hard to come out anyway uh, it makes sense because the the tamping or there was some issue with the channeling that's why it didn't come out perfectly anyway if you like this video give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't I would really appreciate that and it helps me to make more videos so see you on the next video and good night for now Mmm.